The word podcast was coined in 2004 and is a combination of the terms iPod and broadcast. This was before smartphones, at a time where podcasts were made almost exclusively on the iPod. Clearly, the medium has come a long way, but it's easy to get lost in the sheer volume of audio content out there. In this video, we'll take a look back at some of the best that the medium has to offer. So here's to the diamonds in the rough, a celebration of an emerging medium. Here are the top 10 serialized podcasts of all time. At number 10 is Heaven's Gate. This podcast is a deep dive into the philosophy of a cult known as Heaven's Gate and the circumstances that led to the mass suicide of 39 of its members in an upscale San Diego mansion in March of 1997. You see, the members of Heaven's Gate were in a search for meaning and connection, and this podcast tells their story in a way that captures their humanity and illuminates the complexity leading up to their final decision. That shows listeners how innocent people can be indoctrinated into a cult even one with beliefs that include UFOs and other wild ideas from science fiction. There's so much going on in this engrossing story, and the ending leaves a very strong impression on the listener. The number nine podcast is Dr. Death. This is the story of an atrocious spinal surgeon who left 33 of the 38 patients that he operated on severely injured, paralyzed, or dead. But yet, he lacked the capacity to recognize that he was making mistakes. This is none other than Dr. Christopher Dunch, a former Dallas neurosurgeon who on paper was great. He had strong recommendations and stellar credentials from top tier medical institutions. But in practice, he was horrendous. Yet he persisted to operate on people after numerous blunders while continuing to assure his patients of their safety and his unparalleled skill as a surgeon. Why he did this and how he got away with it for so long is the focus of this podcast series. Have you ever been under the influence of any drugs during the time that you were performing spinal surgery on any patient? I take the fifth. Number eight is Caliphate. This is one of the most ambitious reports on the Islamic State. It explores the psychology of a Canadian citizen turned ISIS terrorist, Abdul Husayfa, who candidly explains his motivations for joining ISIS and what it's like to live inside of the caliphate. The podcast is told by Rukmini Kalimaki, a New York Times correspondent, as she attempts to understand ISIS, those who fight for it, and those who have been victimized by the organization. The 10-episode series actually follows three different story arcs, all loosely related to the caliphate, but in very different ways. Each of these narratives is dense and complex with a subject matter that can be quite disturbing, but Kalimaki and senior producer Andy Mills both handle the subject matter with class, Caliphate won the 2018 Peabody Award and was one of the finalists for the Pulitzer Prize. This is journalism at its best and should not be missed by anyone. Number 7 is Bear Brook. In winter of 1985, a hunter found a 55 gallon drum containing the skeletal remains of an adult woman and a younger girl in a deserted location within Bear Brook State Park. 15 years later, another 55 gallon drum was found very close to the first actually, contained in the remains of two younger girls. This is the horrifying backstory of Bear Brook, which is an investigative true crime podcast that attempts to untangle the mystery behind this story. Despite the tragedy of this case, it had a silver lining as it represented a turning point in how crimes are solved. And the focus of the series is not on the gory details, typical of other podcasts in this genre, but on the revolutionary forensic science that ultimately led to the identification of the killer and some of the victims over 30 years after the crimes were committed. Bearbrook is a very well executed true crime podcast with quality production, great sound design, and minimal ads. Definitely worth checking out. The number six podcast is Gladiator. Aaron Hernandez and Football Inc. In April of 2015, former NFL star Aaron Hernandez was sentenced to life in prison at the age of 25 for the murder of his friend, Odin Lloyd. Two years later, Hernandez was found dead in his prison cell from an apparent suicide. After his death, brain tissue analysis revealed that Hernandez suffered from the most severe case of CTE ever found in a person of his age. CTE is a debilitating brain condition caused by repeated head injuries and is known to affect mood, behavior, impulse control, and can lead to aggression, depression, and paranoia, all of which Hernandez displayed. It's hard to say what role CTE played and his lifestyle, personal choices, and upbringing certainly played a factor. But these are the topics and the questions that Gladiator seeks to answer in its six episodes. And even if you've never followed American football, you can appreciate the quality of journalism and get drawn into the gripping story about a man who, despite being a murderer, was also a victim of a brutal environment and a dangerous sports culture that at times puts profits over the well-being of its athletes. At number five, 
we have Limetown. This might be the most unique entry on this list. Limetown is a fictional story about the sudden disappearance of over 300 men, women, and children from a neuroscience research facility in Tennessee. So without giving away any spoilers, it's clear from the start that Limetown is a unique audio experience that blends elements of mystery, drama, and dark science fiction while keeping the audience in suspense. This remains one of the best audio drama podcasts out there with an incredibly immersive storyline, excellent sound design that brings the story to life, as well as a well-voiced cast of over 27 characters. Limetown set the standard for audio dramas and became the number one podcast two months after its release. In fact, it even received a TV series that featured Jessica Biel as Leah Haddock. But overall, it's really memorable and highly recommended. The number four podcast is Believed. In early 2019, 150 women testified at the sentencing of former U.S. gymnastics sports doctor Larry Nassar, who sexually abused over 300 young female gymnasts for more than 20 years during his time at Michigan State University. On the surface, Larry Nassar was a charming, talented, and hardworking family man who was loved in his community and respected in the field of gymnastics. But many secrets existed behind this guise. Believed explored how Larry Nassar got away with these vile acts for decades. How the abuser was hidden in plain sight for over 20 years. In this podcast, we hear the first-hand stories of the survivors, parents, and detectives who were involved in the Nassar case. And it reveals how well-meaning people, parents, friends, colleagues, can fail to believe the ugly truth, even when it's told by a loved one. And it does so in a way that's empathetic, but honest. The content is hard to stomach, but it's also incredibly empowering as it captures the coming together of a nation around a group of survivors. At number three is Root of Evil. This is the story of a troubled family with a twisted past and a vicious cycle of abuse. The central character is Dr. George Hodel, former gynecologist and primary suspect of the 1947 unsolved Black Dahlia murder, which left the corpse of Elizabeth Short cut in half and publicly displayed for what some speculate to be a surrealist art spectacle. Yeah, this is one of the craziest podcasts you will ever hear. Cruelty and savagery in its truest form. The story is absolutely nuts, and as crazy as it sounds, the murder is only a small part of the tragedy of this family. George Rodell was well-connected and brilliant, but was also a psychopath and the very embodiment of evil due to the pain and suffering he inflicted on many, including his own daughter, who at the age of 14 sued him in the incest trial of 1949. Yet another crazy angle to the story is the fact that the crimes of the killer were unintentionally uncovered by his own son, who was a retired homicide detective with no previous knowledge decades after the fact of the passing of his father. Overall, Root of Evil is a disturbing story of extreme trauma getting passed down generations. An investigation on how the abused can become the abuser is undeniably fascinating and worth checking out for those who dare. The number two podcast is none other than S-Town. S-Town is a modern day classic, unlike any piece of art you will ever come across, due to how effortlessly it blends motifs so rarely explored in conjunction. It's an artistic investigation of the topic of nihilism through the perspective of a brilliant polymath infused with the style and culture of deep southern rural America, all while wrestling with some of the most difficult topics facing humanity. Yeah, it's complex, but weirdly aesthetic. There was a general consensus on the artistic achievement of S-Town. It received the Peabody Award in 2017 and was downloaded almost 20 million times just within the first week of its release. To not listen to S-Town is doing yourself a big disservice. At number one is Serial, a podcast that completely redefined the medium. So here's a premise. In early 1999, Heyman Lee, an 18-year-old senior at Woodlawn High School of Baltimore County, went missing. Six weeks later, her body was found in a shallow grave within a park in Baltimore City. Soon after, her 17-year-old ex-boyfriend, Adnan Syed, was charged for her murder and is currently serving a life sentence. However, the case against Adnan was based on questionable evidence and Adnan claimed he had nothing to do with the crime and maintains his innocence until this day. Serial delves into the ambiguity of this case. Sarah Koenig performs a thorough analysis of the case and sorts through thousands of documents, police interrogations, and trial testimonies. She also conducts interviews of the friends and family of Hay and Anand, and she reveals the complexities and inconsistencies of this case. 
Koenig recorded over 40 hours of phone conversations with Anand. These conversations reveal Anand to be incredibly personable and level-headed, which makes the listener think, was an innocent man wrongfully convicted, or is he just playing everyone for a fool? The intrigue of these questions adds to the addictiveness of the show, but the mystery alone isn't what makes Serial so special. The execution is what really elevates this piece of art. It's unlike any true crime podcast in how it blends together storytelling and investigative journalism while steering clear from sensationalism all too common in high budget podcasts. Serial feels real, it feels authentic and relatable. The attention to detail and care put into the production and narration remains unparalleled. This is the gold standard of podcasting, and it remains one of the most downloaded podcasts of all time. And there it is, the top 10 serialized podcasts. Now the selection and order of the titles are subjective, but I hope you found a few podcasts that caught your interest. And if you enjoy audio content, be sure to check out the other top 10 list of audiobooks and podcasts on the channel. Thanks for watching.